Okay, so let's start it with offset effect. By importing our footage, drag it into the new composition, add a curves effect into your shot to make it crispier for tracking. Now let's grab those trial points uh, to make it a little bit contrast. Contrast, I think, yeah. Let's pre compose it, move all attribute into a new composition. And now uh, come to tracker, track camera, and now we are tracking it. But before doing it, click detail analysis for perfect result. And now it's tracking, and we have to wait for this. Now it's tracked, and I need to increase the size of the tracker to see what is going on. It's time to select those uh, trackers, click right, and create solid and camera. And now we have those. And now we have the solid and i think it's perfect so now click it and now let's select everything up click file script and export as json this is a script i will put the link to same script in the description down below you will also be able to use it now export without json data let's open up blender here we in blender delete everything file import and import after effect json data i will also put the link to the add-on to import json data into blender it's let's import it and now the data is imported into blender successfully and i think we need to expand the timeline make the ending frame to 128 let's delete the front plan by hitting x to delete hit a to select everything grab those keyframe to one because after effect and blender timeline is different select the camera go to background images add image and add a movie clip open up your shot here we go click open clip increase the opacity to see what is going on go to output setting make the frame rate to 30 uh, because the actual value is 30 frame per second now change the rendering to cycle and make it gpu compute now if you play it it's perfectly tracked i think yeah the footage is a little bit laggy because it's a 4k footage you can also make it uh, HD before tracking it. It will be perfect. Now, uh, let's uh, change the orientation to local. Rotate the plan by Y axis by 90 degree and grab it into X axis. Something like this. Scale it on X axis to actually fit, a, fit with a road. And grab it on Z axis like that. Scale it on Z axis. It's a little bit different. From global orientation, select these empty. Before doing it, let's import our model. I will put the link to the same model in the description down below. You can check it out. So now uh, it's time to select. Let's hide this object before. Select these empty. Uh, Shift S, uh, cursor to select it. Turn on the object and select the bottle. Selection to cursor to grab, to snap this object there. Now grab it on Z axis like that and uh, make sure that it's perfect from every axis uh, because you will if it's not perfect it will not be good let's see it from bottom i think i need to move it up a little bit yeah it's good enough and now it's time to go to camera view just slightly grab it down camera view and if you now if you play it it's perfectly working yeah so now it's time to just uh, uh, set the origin to 3D cursor. So we'll be able to scale it from the bottom. We don't need to move it. Okay. So now it's perfectly tracked and it's working. Okay. So now what we need, uh, we need to, to turn on the solid to see what is going on. Uh, hit tab, go to edit mode, uh, add selection and select this age. I think I need to extrude it on Y axis, which is uh, in fact the Z axis in global, but we are in local. That is why the orientation is different. Uh, so, okay, let's extrude it on X axis again. Grab it on X axis to here. And yeah, okay. Select the other side as well. Hit E and extrude it on upper axis, I can say. And hit E and extrude it on X axis as well. And now if we play it, let's just add a cube before playing it because we need to make some uh, reference building to actually cast some shadows and also some reflection on the bottle. So let's uh, just align it with the 
uh, building in the in the footage now go to edit mode go to uh, extra mode select upper vertices and hit g to grab them on uh, the z-axis select those uh, vertices grab them on uh, y-axis like that okay so i think it's perfect now select those uh, vertices just grab it on z-axis something like this and if we play it it's perfect yeah it's working perfectly okay so now what we're about to do is to just come to the object setting uh i will i will try uh turning off the camera for the cube because it will not be visible in the camera uh but it will cast shadows and reflection and yeah just duplicate it on x axis so we will have the same properties for other side of buildings now it's time to play it and see yeah it's perfectly working okay so the next thing that we're going to do is to save the file because it's really important if you don't save your work it can crash or you know it will lose all of the progress you have made so far okay and now uh, let's select the uh, shadow catcher or the root and uh, click shadow catcher and now come to rendering setting and make it transparent so we'll be able to see the footage okay so under world setting let's add an hdri i'm using an hdri downloaded from polyhaven it's that hdri which is called parking law or something you can also get this from uh hdri haven or polyhaven i don't know what it's name but okay so let's uh increase the strength to three shift a add a light and add a sunlight grab it up and rotate it on y-axis like that to actually make those shadows make sure to perfectly align it with the footage because uh it must be the same now come to light settings make the strength to something like uh five or maybe we can go for three you, you can also play around with the angle the higher the angle the softer the shadow the lower the angle the harder the shadows are okay so we can go for 1.2 angle now go to edit mode i think i have to extend it to the the ending of the shot because we want to have uh shadows hard shadows to the end of the shot you know so i need to select those vertices and grab them on x axis like that and now if we just go to solid view and let's select the camera make the uh, clip ending to something like very high to see uh, the ending of the shot we are the scene ends now let's select this road kind of thing grab it on z axis yeah again it is a different system than a global or transform orientation now select uh, okay so come to view and make make also the clips ending to something like very uh, far away we will be able to see the far away places in our scene i mean by that okay so now it's time to scale it on z axis yeah this is z axis actually because we have rotated that object and local orientation works when you rotate the object the axes are also going to rotate with this that is why it's feel different and now let's grab it on z axis okay so i think i have to scale it on z axis and now if you go to render view as you can see it's perfectly done i think okay so the first thing we need to do is to uh, align those uh, area with the uh, footage because if we extend it to that side if we zoom in you can see that uh, the the footage shadows are different but our cube shadows are different so it makes it very weird so in order to fix these we need to make the same shape as the background shadows now what we need we need to re-grab those uh, vertices and align it with the first uh you know with this with this part you can see in the video uh okay so now it's time to add a loop cut in the middle do whatever i do because this is something that feels really complex but it's pretty easy now extrude it you can see 
uh, in the scene as it makes shadows and again extrude it on the same axis okay so now if we just go to solid view select the upper face and go to render view to see what is going on okay so now grab the upper face to z axis and it's time to rotate it on uh, x axis to actually fit it with the footage shadows okay just grab it on z axis then and yeah i think it's perfect as it's casting shadow as uh the background just move it on y axis to fit in and now it's perfectly casting shadows as a footage and yeah you can just make it do use the same trick for any kind of footage to actually fit it in the uh you know to merge it with the shadows in the footage now also grab this because it was making some black spot there okay so i think it's perfect let's save our progress and now if we just select uh okay so now it's time to add those uh whole structure that you saw in the beginning of the video in the main road so now add a cylinder uh make sure to align it with the bottle and make sure to make it slightly bigger than the bottle because the bottle will be coming out of it so that is why we're going to make it slightly bigger than the bottle now align it with this go to camera view and now shade it auto smooth just grab it on z axis maybe x axis and grab it down slightly and yeah i think it's perfect now okay so come to modifier add a modifier and add this boolean modifier to the plan object and select the cylinder as the target object now go to edit mode of the cylinder and delete the upper face so now we're going to add a solidify modifier to the cylinder and now if we go to render view you can see we have perfectly did this effect and it will not make any uh any problem if it does make problem make sure to delete the solidify from the cylinder because sometimes it makes problem now uh, i'm going to add a material from sanctus library to the cylinder uh, i don't want to make it from scratch because it's a vfx tutorial i'm just using this material if you're using sanctus library for materials and yeah it's working perfectly okay so now i uh, go to solid view let's sign it's time to animate it so let's start animating this object okay so we have added location keyframe before adding location keyframe we need to make sure that the brand name is in the front so okay so at the beginning of the shot the brand name is not in the front let's rotate it on z axis and hit i for location and rotation come to camera view and go to frame number 48 and grab this bottle up something like this and also rotate it on z axis to actually bring the brand name into the front uh, hit i and location and rotation keyframe go to the ending of the video and slightly rotate it on z axis to actually show that the rotation is still continued okay so now if you play it it's perfectly rotating and moving okay and yeah it's perfect I think now it's time for some compositing because we need to merge the CGI into a real footage with compositing. Before doing compositing, make sure that uh, your resolution matches the shot or it will make problems later on. So let's make the X resolution to 3840 and the Y resolution is going to be 2160. 2160 something like this and now it will not make any problem if it does make sure to make uh, the resolution the same as it is now let's render out an image okay so we are rendering this image and just wait for these to get it rendered okay so now it's rendered and now come to compositing use node and now it's time to add uh, uh, an input which is a movie clip select the shot and now uh, let's add an alpha over node in between these two add this to the image and also this image going to the upper image i think we need to add a weaver node from output here click uh, sorry uh, connect the image with image 
and I think uh, it's not perfect because for this render I have not changed any resolution but make sure to change it because I regretted this uh, after fixing the resolution problem because I was facing it so make sure to do it thanks for watching